Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Oliveira, and I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on developing visual tools within the Max MSP programming environment. Okay, so as you can see on our screen, we have a new patcher window featuring Max MSP, and I'm going to take you through some of the objects and tools that you need to develop a live waveform visualizer for any audio source you might be needing. If you are an artist that needs to develop online videos of your music content, or perhaps you're a software developer that needs a visual tool to represent waveforms, complex or otherwise, for a program that you're looking to develop. Tools like this can certainly help, and I'm going to take you through and show you exactly how to do that. Two things are needed in order to develop this visual tool. First of all, we need a rendering tool, something that will actually make the moving images for us, which represents that waveform. And we need an analysis tool, which will take an audio signal, convert it to digital matrices, and then convert that to geometries, which then we can look at as part of the visual analysis. Okay, so let's start. We need to start off with our Q metronome object. Okay, so our Q metro is simply an object which acts like any other metronome, queuing particular bangs related to frame rate for our moving images. Okay. In order to start that Q metro object, we also need a toggle object. So I'm just moving that on top of the Q metro object, and then we'll connect that, and we'll start that banging a one in the first instance. We also need a trigger bang object, our trigger bang bang to erase and trigger various uh, components within our rendering tool. Okay. We need an actual render object, so the jit.gl.render object is the object that we will use in order to render each component of the moving images. Okay. GL making reference to the graphics library within MaxMSP. Then we also need an output window, and this is exactly the window from which we will see our moving images. We're going to call that visual tool for now. We will need that file name for multiple purposes. Okay, visual tool, there it is. Okay, and you can see that a window has popped up. We're just going to move that to the side, and that's where our moving images will display very, very soon. Okay, so that is the rendering signal chain all completed. Now we need to develop our analysis signal chain. So that happens like this. Okay, the first thing that we need okay, is our Easy ADC. Our Easy ADC is essentially a microphone object. As you see when that pops up, you see a little radio button which represents a microphone, this one here. That's the top of our signal chain with the analysis tool. Okay. The th next thing we need is an amplitude object. So that is your star tilde object, which amplifies, amplifies rather audio signals. Okay, we've got that right there. And we put our first inlet of our microphone into that amplification tool. We're also going to use this amplification tool to amplify and distort the signal. So we need a float number object, F-L-O-N-U-M, okay? And that's going to give us a float number that we're able to use to multiply the signal in order to distort the image and the geometries later on. We now need a jit.catch object, okay? And that is going to convert for us our audio signals into digital matrices, which then can be converted to the moving geometries for our visualizer a little bit later. The next object we need, okay, is our jit.gl.graph, okay? And that's going to take each of those floating point numbers and plot them over a series um, of uh, circumference points along a plane, and those geometries based on the distortion level, will be plotted along those points of a circumference as part of our visual tool, okay? And then the final element we need within this is our jit.gl.mesh object, okay? And using the same name for our visual tool window in order to output to the visualizer. And when connecting that to the, uh, the gl.graph window, apologies, just quickly fix that up, okay? That will then take those various flo floating point um, uh, uh, points along the graph and will add geometries to that so we can then see each of our elements of the audio signal that we're visualizing. Okay. So we've almost got everything in line there. We're almost ready to test. So our ADC is on. Our microphone is active. Our distortion, let's ramp that up to 
double the value, okay, so we've got floating point 2.0, and then when we hit the Q Metro, making sure that all of our elements are connected, okay, just going to convert that to two, all right, and when I hit the rendering tool, here we go, visualization. You can now see that every time I speak, one, two, three, our visual tool is now active, making a amplitude-based waveform representing each of the audio signals that comes into our graphic window. One, two, three, and there you can see moving on. And ladies and gentlemen, there is our visual tool, which we can now use to make moving video visualizations of any audio source you desire. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Oliveiro, and this has been a quick demo on Max MSP. Thank you. Was that okay? It was great. Oh. <laughs> I'm here listening to you talk. Yes. So 